fighters react to Anthony Smith vs. Alexander Rokic in UFC on ESPN Plus 33. Anthony Smith vs. Alexander Rokic brought an interesting dynamic in their fight. The showdown served as the main event of the UFC on ESPN Plus 33 event on Saturday night, August 29, 2020, from Las Vegas, Nevada at the UFC Apex. As seen in the fight, it was different. So it all started with both guys throwing leg kicks as if they were trying to chop down a tree. So much so that Smith was hurt by a kick and fell down in pain. The judges gave Rokic the overwhelming unanimous decision win with nearly all three of them giving out 30 to 27 scorecards thanks to his takedowns and ground and pound. This was an important contest for both guys. Smith was still trying to find his way back to the UFC light heavyweight title. He lost to John Jones for the light heavyweight title at UFC 235 by decision. He was also trying to rally back from getting TKO'd by Glover Teixeira at the UFC Jacksonville event from Jacksonville, Florida at the Vi Star Veterans Memorial Arena. On the flip side, Rokic was also trying to prove the doubters wrong. Look, this kid went on a 12-fight winning streak, but that snapped when he dropped a split decision loss to Volkan Ozdemir at the UFC Pusan event from the Sajik Arena. Fighters took to Twitter to comment on the outcome of this fight. Megan Anderson wrote. Rocket showed out against a top competition. It's really hard to finish the Lionheart but Rocket showed how well-rounded his game is. Steven Wonderboy Thompson. Those leg kicks. Gilbert Burns added. Guy won but the domination was without risking. So good win, not like, wow what a win. My view. Dominic Reyes wrote. Not the greatest fight IQ should probably break and smash him. Need to start seeing some urgency from Anthony on getting up this round said Alan. Marvin Vittori added. I knew Rockage way superior but one question but why not finish the fight standing back up. Michael Bisping also jump in. Great kicks to start for Rockage, smart adjustments from Smith and another switch from Rockage to finish the round. Justin Gaethje also wrote. The just bleed in me is hoping Rockage loses somehow for making the choice in round two. Do you think Alexander Rockage made a statement victory against Smith or is the criticism warranted? Leave a comment below letting us know what you think, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Ricardo Lamas defeated Bill Algio and afterwards said he's considering retirement. If it was indeed the end, what a way to go out, as Lamas earned a unanimous decision victory with 29 to 27 scores across the board. Robbie Lawler vs Neil Magny wasn't exactly what fans had thought when this fight got announced. Magny really controlled the fight with the majority of fans thinking he won all three rounds. Lawler had a better showing in the third round, but Magny stole the show with his performance. Magny nabbed the decision win. Alexa Grasso beat Ji Young Kim with a unanimous decision Saturday on the main card. Grasso outstruck Kim 123 to 85 and landed 56% of her strikes. The only thing I want to prove clear is that I belong here and I belong at the top of the division. I'm here to prove that every time I step in the octagon, Grasso said after the fight. Yeah. <laughs> UFC on ESPN plus 33 prelim results. Welterweight Impa Kasanane defeated Maki Pito Lo by unanimous decision, 30-27, 30-27, 30-27. to Middleweight Zach Cummings defeated Alessio Di Chirico by unanimous decision, 29-28, 29-28, 30-27. Featherweight Alex Caceres defeated Austin Springer by submission, rear naked choke, at 3.38 of round 1. Welterweight Sean Brady defeated Christian Aguilera by submission, guillotine choke, at 1.47 of round 2. Women's flyweight, Pollyanna Viana defeated Emily Whitmire by submission, armbar, at 153 of round 1. Women's strawweight, Mallory Martin defeated Hannah Siffers by submission, rear naked choke, at 133 of round 2.